but I caught Tychus hacking into our database, sniffing around about Kerrigan. I don't know what his game is, but we clearly can't trust him. Matt, me and Tychus ran together a long time, got in all sorts of trouble. When the law finally caught up, he took the rap for both of us, never once ratted me out. I got a second chance, he got locked up. I understand your loyalty, sir, but... I owe him, Matt. Leave it be. Yes, sir. Your Mobius buddies ever happen to mention that the Queen of Blades wants these artifacts, too? Hey, they just give me the missions, man. What's it matter, anyway? Putting that bitch down would be doing everyone a favor. I thought it was just about the money with you, Tychus. Nothing says I can't do my part for humanity and get paid well for my trouble. Right. This is Donnie Vermillion live from UNN. Tonight, we're going to discuss the infamous Queen of Blades. Scientists and military insiders have long speculated that the enigmatic alien is, in fact, an infested human. That's right, Donnie. Is it possible that the leader of the Zerg has a human heart? More importantly, Kate, could this mean some kind of Terran-Zerg alliance is possible? Donnie, there's never been any evidence at all to suggest that infested humans retain their free will. You make a good point, Kate. The question is then, how do we kill her? That's one I think we all can agree on. If humanity is to survive, the Queen of Blades needs to be eliminated. I've been hearing strange stories from the crew of late. Unexplained noises, strange visions, voices in the dark. Rumor has it these things are haunted. Superstitious nonsense. These artifacts are completely inert and they're contained down here in the lab. There is some trace radiation, but I don't see how they could affect things elsewhere on the ship. Heaven forbid we run across alien tech that messes with our primitive little monkey brains. Just keep a close eye on them, Doc. That Zerg woman seemed to know you. She really rattled you, didn't she? Me and her, well, we go back a ways. She was a ghost once. Back then, we were hooked up with Manx and fighting to get rid of the old Confederacy. <laughs> we made a pretty good team. What happened to her? She was a casualty of war. No offense, Doc, but I really don't like to talk about it. I understand. If you ever change your mind, I'm here. Are you all right, sir? Confronting Kerrigan again after all these years. We've got to stop her, Matt. No matter what she's after. Well, we gave her a setback today. The artifacts are obviously important to her. I just wish we knew why. I hear the mighty Jim Rayner's on the move, but short on funds. The planet Redstone's got the most valuable minerals around, and with the Zerg invasion, the Kilmorians backed up and left it all behind. Some enterprising men could turn a big profit there. Meet me at Redstone if you want a piece of the action. Redstone. Heck of a place. I ever mentioned how much I hate volcanic planets? Good to see you made it. They call me Taj. You help me mine the minerals I need, and I'll make it worth your while. What's the catch? Well, 
This place is a little unstable. The low ground gets flooded with lava every few minutes. Of course, that's where the richest mineral nodes are found. But that'll be no problem for a big, tough guy like you. Sir, I'm also picking up Zerg biosignatures on the surface. We'll need to spend some of what we mine just to defend the operation. The more we spend, the longer this is gonna take. Ah, oh, Lava and Zerg. Two of my favorite things. Let's do this. Alert. Lava surge imminent. Evacuate low ground immediately. Lava's rising. Get those SCVs to high ground. Right now! Add-on complete. All clear. It is now safe to proceed with mining operations. More of these guys. They're seriously badass. Your forces are under it. Uh, sir, sir, uh, scanners show a large biosignature close to your position. A brutalisk, I think. If you could kill it, that'd get my, uh, our research off to a flying start. Just a reminder, sir. The more minerals we expend on forces, the longer it's going to take to reach our goal. Try to be economical. Mineral field depleted. Mineral field depleted. Mineral field depleted. Seismic activity is increasing. Caution is advised. Alert. Lava surge imminent. Evacuate low ground immediately. All clear. It is now safe to proceed with mining operations.
base is under attack. Upgrade complete. Mineral field depleted. Mineral field depleted. Mineral field depleted. Mineral field depleted. Upgrade complete. Base is under attack. Seismic activity is increasing. Caution is advised. Your forces are under attack. Your alert. Lava surge imminent. Evacuate low ground immediately. All clear. It is now safe to proceed with mining operations. Your forces are under attack. Is under attack. Your bit won't fast. We've already got half the minerals we need. Your forces are under attack. are under attack. Tosh sent you to help? About time. Let's finish up this contract and get the hell off this planet. Mineral field depleted. Mineral field depleted. Mineral field depleted. Your 
under attack. I scanned for mineral outcrops before we landed. Send in more data to you now. Your forces are under attack. Seismic activity is increasing. Caution is advised. Alert. Lava surge imminent. Evacuate low ground immediately. safe to proceed with mining operations. Your forces are under attack. Base is under attack. is under attack. Upgrade. Almost done, Mr. Rena. Just a few more minerals to go. Forces are under attack. Mineral field depleted. Mineral field depleted. Mineral field. Doing well there, Mr. Reyna. We got traces of more minerals over on the other side of the canyon. Mineral field depleted. Your forces are under attack. All right, boys, nice work. We got what we came for. Now let's get out of this hellhole. Finished already. We really are as good as they say, Mr. Reyna. I'm thinking you and I got a lot more business we could be talking about. Nice work, sir. The payoff from Redstone really got us back on our feet. Why is that Tosh guy bored? He wanted to talk to you in person, sir. Something about conducting more business ventures together. You do any digging on him? Of course. And he's no pirate. Rumor has it he's a renegade ghost. And until he vanished, he was one of the Dominion's top assassins. Now Manx hates him almost as much as he hates you. Well, I like this guy already. Just the same. We'd best keep an eye on him. Yes, sir. You ever heard of a guy named Gabriel Tosh? Only rumors. The way I hear it, he was mixed up in some covert branch of the ghost program that produced some real scary badasses. Word was, Tosh snapped and went rogue. I'd play it real cool with that kind. He'd cut your throat soon as look at you. I've dealt with rogue ghosts before. It's the one still working for Manx I got a problem with.
Donnie Vermillion, UNN, your first, last, and only stop for the truth. Tonight, our own Kate Lockwell uncovers a secret shadow war waged by our brave Dominion ghosts against a ruthless hidden enemy. Thanks, Donnie. I'm talking live with a specialist in the Dominion. I understand that you and your comrades have been against a group of... What can you tell us about that? Well, Kate, I'm not allowed to say much, but I can tell you that his allies will not. We expect to them very soon. I think we'll all sleep a little better tonight, knowing our Dominion forces are watching over us. For UNN, I'm Donny Vermillion. Just out of curiosity, I did some tests on the minerals from Redstone. I thought you should know I found trace quantities of Jorium, a rare crystal with very unique properties. I'm all ears, Doc. What kind of properties? Jorium resonates at the same frequency as certain brain waves. It's been theorized that it could be used to stimulate brain activity or even produce psionic abilities in human subjects. What the hell does Tosh want that for? the man. We make a good team, me and you. Why are you here, Tosh? Our business is done unless you got something else for me. Yeah, I got another job for us on a world called Belshia. Interested? Maybe. But what's in it for me? Piracy ain't exactly my chosen path. Everyone knows Jim Rayner wants to put the hurt on Mengsk. I can help you with that. I can help you big time. I'll think about it. For the time being, welcome aboard the Hyperion. We'll talk later. There's a rare gas on Belshir, the Protoss skull, the breath of creation. They think it'd be a gift from their gods. <laughs> we call it Tarazine, and it'd be worth a fortune to the right bidder. Of course those Protoss will kill us if they catch us on their holy ground. Or at least they'll try. Here we go. Much prettier than Redstone, yeah? I don't much like fighting Protoss if I can avoid it. Not just any old Protoss. Fanatics call the Tal Darim. They believe the Tarazin is sacred. A gift from the Zelnaga. If these Tal Darim bring in their air power, they're gonna hammer us. Swan, get the Goliath schematics loaded at the factory. If their anti-air missiles are still any good, we might just pull this off. All right, cowboy. I'll get the Goliath schematics loaded so we can build more. How do we get to the Terrazine? See those altars? Taldari Mystic set him up to collect the Terrazine. We just need to grab it. Well, our SCVs will be able to haul the Terrazine. We just gotta keep them protected. With any luck, we can pick up what we need before the Taldarim find us. All right, let's get to it. Here are the coordinates for the Terrazine sites, brother. These should make our lives a little easier. Our SCVs can pick up Terrazine canisters and move them. It'll take him a while to disconnect the canister, so make sure you watch out for him.
Add-on complete. some of this gas here, and we'll be long gone before you know it. No. You shall not defile the breath of creation. Tyleree warriors, execute all those who would desecrate our altars. The Protoss are mobilizing, sir. Looks like they're gonna go after our SCVs when we harvest the Terrazine. I suggest we only harvest one side at a time, and run with a heavy escort. Your forces are under attack. I've got the first canister on hook, sir. I'll take it to the nearest command center. Good job. That's the first canister field. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. The Taldarim are sealing off a Terrazine altar. Wonderful. The Taldarim are sealing off the Terrazine altar so we can't get at them. If they keep it up, we won't be able to collect enough. Your forces are under attack. is under attack. Upgrade 
complete. Warning, the Taldarim are sealing off a Terezin altar. Your forces. Bold move, Mr. Reyna. Collecting Terezin from two places at once. Sure, it's gonna be harder to keep the Taldarim off our backs. But the quicker we're done here, the sooner we can get off this way. Your forces are under attack. Your forces are under attack. Upgrade complete. Warning. The Taldarim are sealing off a Terezin altar. Your forces are under attack. Your forces are under attack. Upgrade complete. Your forces are under attack. Warning. The Taldarim are sealing off a Terezin altar. Your forces are under attack. Your forces are under attack. You shall not steal the wreck of creation so easily. Be careful. They're sending their ships to take out your SCVs. Shoot them down quick or we're finished. Upgrade complete. Your forces are under attack. That's over half the canisters you wanted. Your forces are under attack. Warning. The Taldarim are sealing off a Terezin altar. 
Your forces are under attack. Upgrade complete. Warning. The Taldarim are sealing off a Terrazine altar. Your forces are under Base attack. is under attack. Taldarim are sealing off a Terrazine altar. Warning. The Taldarim are sealing off a Terrazine altar. Your forces are under attack. Complete. Damn those Taldarim. Every altar they shut down sets us back further. You need to get some of your boys out there and stop them. Your forces are under attack. Your forces are under attack. Forces are under attack.
Your forces are under attack. Terrazine altar. Base is under attack. Upgrade complete. Base is under attack. Slow the tall drain down some. They've sealed off five geysers already. Your forces are under attack. Upgrade complete. Your forces are under attack. Your forces are under attack. Your forces are under attack.
when your radar sure can walk the walk. We just need one more canister. Warning. The Taldarim are sealing off a Terezin altar. Your forces are under attack. That's the last canister. I think we've outstayed our welcome, boys. Sir, I received an encrypted transmission from an untraceable source. It claims that Tosh here was part of a classified operation called Project Shadowblade. They used Jorium and Terezin to enhance ghost powers. It's true. We are called Spectres. Next generation ghosts. And you were going to tell me all this when? We all have our secrets, Mr. Rena. Doesn't mean I'm any threat to you. Maybe not. But whoever sent this message could be. Matt, any way to verify the transmission? No, sir. But it does end with... I'll be in touch soon. It's Minsk. Trying to turn us against each other. Don't let him. I'll let it lie for now. At least till I find out who sent this transmission. But I'll be keeping an eye on you, Tosh. You can try. A Dominion weapons plant exploded hours ago, causing a chain reaction that has taken out several housing complexes in this working class neighborhood. Dominion security forces claim it was an act of terror by the notorious Jim Rayner, but our own investigations suggest that the plant must have been infiltrated by forces with sophisticated stealth technologies. It begs the question, could some of the Dominion's ghost operatives have gone rogue? For UNM, this is Kate Lockwell reporting from the Core World Nefor 2. Still don't trust me, brother. Until you decide. Eat nothing to discuss. That Tosh is a whack job, Jimmy. Spends all his time muttering and playing around with those damn dolls of his. Well, I need someone to balance out your sophistication and good manners. The guy ain't riding ahead, brother. I can appreciate some good honest craziness. But that guy, he's got something broke inside. I've run a few tests on the terazine gas like you asked. It's clearly related to Vespine gas, but there are some very exotic organics added into the mix. Any guesses what it's used for? Well, it would definitely affect brain chemistry, so it could be used as some kind of drug or stimulant, I suppose. Drugs, huh? That's just wonderful. What do you make of that encrypted message, Matt? I honestly don't know, sir. If Tosh really is one of these specters, it's clear Manx would try to ruin your partnership. But Tosh isn't telling us everything. If we're going to win this revolution... I know. We have to be sure of our allies. My 
people established a new colony on Haven. It was going well, but now the colony's gone dark. They're not responding on any frequency. We need to get there and see what the situation is. They might have been exposed to the Zerg virus, and they are on the verge of Protoss space. Jim, I'm worried that something has gone very wrong. We're almost to Haven, but there's still been no contact from... Sir, there's a Protoss fleet holding in orbit. They're disrupting all communications to the surface, and it looks like they're powering up their main weapons. Jim, you have to stop this. Matt, open a channel to the Protoss. Let's see how diplomatic they're feeling. Intaro Tassadar, James Raynor. I am Executor Selendis. Your bravery and service to Ayr are known to us. Intaro Tassadar, Selendis. Listen, with all due respect, your fleet needs to pull back. The people on Haven are no threat to you. Our observers detected Zerg hive spores infesting the colonists. They must be purified. If you wish to undertake this mission in our stead, we will permit it. Jim, some of my people are infested. But you can't let the Protoss just destroy them all. If you keep the Protoss at bay, I know I can find a cure for the infestation. The only cure for Zerg infestation is purification by fire. You know this to be true, James Raynor. I can cure them, Jim. Believe me. If you choose to resist us, we will meet in glorious combat. The choice is yours, James Raynor. We await your answer. gonna stand by while you wipe out a whole colony, Salendus. Not while there's still a chance we can save them. Then it shall be an honor to meet you on the field of battle. Your reputation as a commander is most impressive. I trust you will live up to it. Thank you, Jim. Thank you so much. Whatever's happening on Haven, my people don't deserve to be wiped out. We'll make this right. I'll find a cure. Jim, the Protoss are already closing in on the colony. My people don't stand a chance. We're gonna have to stop that purifier of theirs before it can wipe the whole place out. Get everyone evacuated to the main base, Ariel. If the purifier gets that far, we're done. Well, at least we can count on them being methodical. They'll stop to burn every settlement along the way. You sure know how to pick a fight, cowboy. I got something that'll help you. I called in some favorites and got us Viking schematics. Remember, they can change from a jet into a combat walker and back again. Pretty nifty stuff. Jim, the purifier's drawing power from several Protoss Nexus. Its shields are completely impenetrable. How can you stop something like that? Easy. We knock out those Nexi first, then we take down the purifier. Don't worry, Ariel. We'll stop them. I've located the Protoss Nexuses that are channeling power to the Purifier Shields. We'll have to destroy them before we can stop the Purifier. Some of the colonists didn't make it to our base in time. We should be ready to assist them when the Protoss attack. Sir, the purifier has arrived and is on the move.
Purifiers coming into range of a colony base. Add on complete. Sir, I'm detecting a massive energy spike. The purifier is about to fire. Upgrade complete. Your forces are under attack. Commander, a Protoss squadron is going after the colony ships. Those people don't stand a chance unless we stop it. Upgrade complete. Rangers Raiders. We're getting out of here. The colonists have evacuated the first settlement in the Purifier's path. The colonists left some resources behind after they evacuated. We should pick them up. Base is under attack. Upgrade complete. Base is under attack. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. The Protoss have arrived at another settlement, sir. That's one Nexus down. Keep at it, boys. We gotta stop that ship. Your forces are under attack.
Upgrade complete. Energy output is peaking. The Protoss are going to destroy the second colony base. Your forces are under attack. Warning. Protoss Squadron detected approaching colonist settlement. Our allies are being attacked. That was a close one. Thanks. The colonists have successfully evacuated that settlement. Upgrade complete. Base is under attack. Your forces are under attack. Upgrade complete. Your forces are under attack. They'll fire on the settlement any second now. Get clear! Complete. Another Nexus gone. Great work. Don't give them a chance to regroup. Squadron detected approaching the final colonist settlement. Thank you! Those Protoss almost got us! Excellent work. The colonists in that settlement have been evacuated. Upgrade complete.
base is under attack. arrival at the next colony base within 20 seconds, sir. Upgrade complete. fire their planet cracker. We've got to stop that purifier. Upgrade complete. Purifier shields are offline, sir. Hit it now. The purifier sent our units into a dimensional warp field. The effect should only be temporary, though. Your forces are under attack. Upgrade complete. We're heading to the last base. This is it, boys. Pull on. Our allies are being attacked. You've done it! You are as cunning as the stories say, James Raynor. I hope your belief in these colonists will be vindicated. This is goodbye, Doc. Now you've got a lot of cleaning up to do out there. We'll manage somehow. I just hope you boys stay out of trouble. Those Protoss are bound to be upset. Well, me and the Protoss go way back. I've helped them out a few times. Figure they might cut me some slack. You know... You could always stay here, settle down, make a new start. <laughs> Guys like me don't get second chances, darling. 
We just got to finish what we've begun. You're a good man, Jim Rayner. 